And here we go for the second second match between uh, Boy and Fnatic. And both players playing as Ottoman here, so Ottoman mirror match. Fnatic playing as the green in the north. Going for the military school uh, open. And in the south, Boy doing the same thing with a very far away stone. So this has to be like an extra tile or two away. Here they come with the, the stone. They go on the wood now. They, they can build the military school, but I guess it's more efficient this way. The, the military will show up later, but... Uh, still think this is efficient enough? Yeah, there they go. Military school. Getting that wood up. They, they're gonna need at least a lumber camp. But this is the build order. Fnatic again is gonna get the um, <clears throat> it's gonna get the school just a little bit earlier. Okay, so boy now is a hundred wood. Then on food, let's do that. The same with Fnatic. So Fnatic is just a little bit early. I wonder, because they're both Ottomans, if someone is going to go with the trade route. Oop, Fnatic kind of stealing sheep, he sees the Skold Vein, oh no. Oh no! This gold vein is out there and he kills the spearman here. Oh, it's gonna be tough. On, the, on, on one hand, it's gonna be tough. On the other one, boy, will have defense. No. Okay, let's see what happens. I wanna keep track of the spearman. There it is. Boy needed to keep a spearman at home. <clears throat> Instead, he's gonna try to get damage with a spearman. I don't know if Boy realizes he's late. So, with, it, with him being late, the spearman is not gonna be there in time. Also, Fnatic's gold is in the back of the base. While Boy's gold is in the front of the base. And it's also like both players have all of their golds close together. Yeah, this is a rough, this is a rough, uh, rough gen here. Here comes the spearman. Let's see what damage he can deal. Starts attacking. Oh, I just notice he just loses this. He's fighting the villagers. The spearman just pulls back. Oh, and the villagers keep running away. Oh, well, that villager is gone. And Fnatic gets the Twin Minaret Madraza at roughly the same time. Oh, the, the Spearman from Boy bumps to the Spearman of Fnatic but within TC range. Well, that Spearman is gone. But uh, so appears to be the Spearman from Fnatic. <laughs> Oh, actually, no, it's not. It's here. I think this batch of deer. Kind of going over this batch of deer as well. So, Fnatic at the moment winning. You can tell by the gauges that the Twin Minaret Madraza Fnatic is going to come up a little bit earlier. Which means that uh, the building, the, whether it's the barracks or range or usually the stable, should also come out early, but Fnatic doesn't have wood for anything. Fnatic might want to try to to get uh, an eco tech going. Oh, now he's getting villagers on the wood. He doesn't have wood now. He's got ninety wood. Oh boy, actually might uh, pull himself ahead now. Okay, 
Okay, good amount of sheep for boy. A decent amount of sheep here for Fnatic as well. Immediately dropping down a smith in two ranges. Uh, Fnatic just dropping the smith, so boy is gonna be stretching his resources a little bit more. Fnatic though has some spearmen a little bit early. And if you're your boy really wants a Sapahi because Fnatic should be getting some uh, archers up. And Archer Sapahi is gonna be your army going forward here. And do the blacksmith in here, like this wood line is a little bit annoying. But... Ma uh, the blacksmith is just. Uh... It's gonna provide huge value as it usually does for Ottoman players. Good scouting here from Fnatic. Okay, Fnatic of the second military school. The boy just does not have. Oh, boy's gonna have to pay for all of his army here. <laughs> uh, for all of it. Not for all of it, but for half his army. Uh, Fnatic, I would get two sets of Sapai, uh, to be honest with you. There's two sets of Sapahi getting those ranges and uh, saving uh, your resources for the Ecotex. Getting uh, Wheelbarrow. Very nice, very nice. Boy won't have that. Okay, more ranges, more ranges, more archers coming out. So a bit bigger army for boy, but just slightly. And boy definitely stretching his resources a little bit more. Getting it, getting steeled arrow, getting the ranged attack tech. Very nice, very nice indeed. And so is Fnatic. Boy's gonna get to attack slightly early. I th yeah. There might be one volley where you have the extra attack, not really a big deal. Could be a big deal that both players get to attack. Um, both players aren't getting the, the ranged armor attack yet. This is starting to become a bit of a big army for both guys. But a bit of a boring batch so far. They're just massing armies. I guess it's the nature of Ottoman mirrors. Okay, I'm killing the wolves. So, okay, so Fnatic going with an archer spear build. Oh boy, going for a Sapahi archer build. I am honestly a fan of the Sapai, to be honest. Taking into account that um, that there are a lot of archers on each side, uh, sending the matters to ranged armor, I think would be a good thing. It loads of army for both guys, my goodness. Fnatic's free army is starting to catch up. Also, Fnatic is stretching his resources a little bit further now. Less resources on slightly weaker economy, which shows me he's getting more use out of them. And he's getting a barracks now, so he wants to double down on spearmen and archers, which I'm not a big fan of. Well, mm, might work, might work, but then might work, I suppose. Oh, boys' army turned around. This actually is a good thing now. Okay, so spearmen are starting to go down. The meter goes down. Well, no one has any meters for the time being. 
And boy wins that fight going away. And the Sapahi can will be able to chase these. Another Vizier points. It's hard to keep track of them. So here's the matter for uh, Fnatic. No matter here for Boy. A boy with a slightly larger army, but slightly larger, but like more unit counters here. Is this Sapai? Oh, is gave Spearman away. And these Sapai, as good as they are, they may not be as good. And both guys have the ranged attack and ranged armor. The fanatic here with wheelbarrow and. Um, Got a slightly lower economy uh, in numbers, but uh, you, you, you can tell it's very efficient. And this is a very good fight for Boy, and he's just giving away the spearman for free. These are some tanky, tanky Sapahis. Okay, so the, the Imams are dead. Boy needs to start uh, thinking uh, maybe about uh, Asian up. He's ga gathering the gold for it. You're getting the getting another range up. <clears throat> Is range really what Boy needs? Especially because Boy's getting the food tech. Boy's just Boy's worse on the eco tech front, but he has more villagers. Fnatic has been idle a little bit. Large army for, for Boy. Boy should have kept his army forward. He was winning the fights. That pressure was going to be very important. And he has no walls and Fnatic is starting to wall up now. The raiding is going to be a difficult thing to do. So are there any state? No, those are just military school supply. And we have two Imams going. So that army heal is also going to be important, and there's uh, melee armor for Fnatic. Yeah, important, but we're dealing with Sepahi against archers for the most part, so not... So slightly worse value there. But heading into Castle Age, it might be important. Ooh, even a wall up here. Fnatic going double TC. Is Boy also going double TC? I don't think so. Boy's ahead eco-wise. Fnatic though, edging Boy in army count. But Boy's going Castle Age. Absolutely the right thing to do here. I don't think Boy loses a, a fight to... That decisively, but he's gonna have to go all in on the castle age. He's gonna have to either get that TC down and kill a bunch of villagers or win the game outright. Otherwise, I don't know. He can keep up with Fnatic. Fnatic scouted. He may have scouted the army, definitely scouted the gold. Fnatic not moving out. Despite having more, uh, a bigger army, but he might not realize it. And I don't think he he knows that uh, boy is going with the blacks uh, going uh, castleage. Okay, scouting knows boy is not on food on the side. Boy doubling down on berries is definitely very weird. His berries are very slow. Okay, boys in castleage. Boy needs tax now. You need either tax or you need a lot of army. Oh, 
Oh, he's not getting tanks here. Oh, getting the second uh, range tag, getting the Adrenal Archer upgrade, very nice. Getting survival tech, so boy wants this. That's clear to me. In the meantime, Fnatic is just building uh, layers of walls and layers of walls. This is not actually close though. If, uh, if boy attack moves into this area, he can still get. Oh, another Vizier point? Fnatic very close to Castle Age. Now is the window of opportunity for Boy to attack. I guess he wants Veteran Archer here. The Veteran Archers are very powerful compared to their feudal counterparts. I think they gain 2 attack. They gain 10 HP. There they go, yeah. Yeah, he can move forward now. Boy is getting veteran Sipahi. And yeah, this army, if these armies clashed, I think uh, Fnatic does not stand a chance. Well, to the upgrades, but he's getting Mehmet Imperial Armory and another, another blacksmith. Perfect. Blacksmith, of course, increases unit production rate. And there, there goes Boy moving forward. The Spahi upgrade is going to come in in the nick of time here. Oh no, he's hitting the wall. The ranged units here from Fnatic might be able to hit, but does Fnatic notice? He does notice. They are so tanky. There they go. And Fnatic is still futile. He's going to lose a lot of these archers. Here are the archers from Boy. Boy needs to attack move the archers. There they go. So much attack going for them. Fnatic wants to fight under underneath the, the, the landmark TC. Don't, don't destroy the tower. Keep going. Here's another smaller mass going forward. Now Fnatic just hit Castle Age. This is Boy's window. He, Boy needs to use the faster rage up. Okay, so the Meganel is out. There it is. Oh, everything is kind of defended somewhat. Okay, the, is Boy even going to try to take out the front of the base here? No, he's just charging in, fighting into the town center. The town center isn't as mighty now. But damn, there's not a lot of a lot of archers. They are not upgraded, though. They are not upgraded. Well, this fight might actually be very good for Boy. Fnatic, sure he is in. Sure, it's Castle Age. He's not getting the upgrades. Oh, and Boy is getting the second attack upgrade for his archers. These are still Fiddlage archers. They're gonna have three less attack, ten less HP. That makes a big difference. And boy is raiding. Boy's one TC, and he has a larger economy than Fnatic. And boy might end up losing a bit of his archer mass, but fighting under this TC is actually pretty good. He has to be careful though with Manganelli. He sees the Mammoth Imperial Armory. He needs to attack with everybody. Here's. Oh, and Fnatic gets his army dead. What a shot with the Manganel. And so many idle units for for Fnatic. And boy, is a huge army now going for him. Knights don't even survive. And the uh, great upgrades here for boy. Fnatic has a little bit of his economy still going, but my goodness, is this actually bleak for Fnatic? He has no army, and boy, boy can just roll through. But Lancers, Lancers are going to be pretty good. Boy needs the Sapahi to defend. And he has some. He has some. Yeah, boy might actually. Oh, yeah, he's getting Lancers of his own actually. Take that back. Lancers are probably going to be the best unit there. 
Ooh, good shot there from the Mangonel. Always looking for more damage, but there are walls everywhere. Bunch of stables. Uh, Fnatic does not have gold. I don't know how he's gonna do this now. Fnatic is such a tiny economy compared to Boy now, and Boy is one TC this whole time. Boy, go forward, mate. Go forward. Go forward. You don't have to fear the Mangonel. Oh, showing so much respect for his opponent here. Um, oh, he's gonna be able to find damage. The Lancer, though, will... will probably clear this. They have 9 attack, though. That's 4 damage per arrow. He needs, like, 4 or 5 volleys. Yeah. Oh, he does much here. I'm gonna try to get as much value as he can, but still, villagers moving around. Great if you're fanatic. Yeah, no more food over there. This is not looking great for a fanatic. And this is a huge army for boy, because eight lancers would be able to defend as well, and. I don't know, boy. Boy is taking a lot of respect here for Fnatic. I hope he doesn't let Fnatic come back here. This game is close to over. Yeah, sure, Fnatic's got most things walled, but this hole in the, f in the front here is good enough. I'd say, and if there's any pressure going somewhere else, uh, I don't, I, I don't know if Fnatic can can handle it. Yeah, now boy taking all of the deer. Gonna take the berry bushes again. He wants to go to farms as late as he can. Did I see a relic getting picked up? Okay, Fnatic is expanded, and Fnatic now. Uh, realizing that Boy is massing in the front of the base here? Oh, Boy has to go. Boy has to go, but Fnatic! Ah, oh, the Ten Sapahi and Seven Lancers. Might prove to be a lot of units, but Boy has 60 archers! Boy has got 60 archers! And Fnatics isn't even bothering with the upgrades. These are Feudal Sapahi. These are Lancers with Feudal upgrades. So I don't know what boy's winning for. Now they're creating this little pocket here, and it's going with the Spahi. Where is he going to? Oh, going to raid! Oh no! A raid with Spahi! Ah! Spahi are really good units to raid with, uh, as you can actually activate that. Okay, finally, we see some activity here. Yeah, but we are close to getting the third Mangonel up. The third Mangonel should be very powerful. Nah, don't stand there! Go! Go! Boy is very close to winning here. If you're a fanatic, you just... You gotta hope that you mass enough good units that you're able to get a favorable fight. Um, but you have two TC, so... UTC against just the one from uh, from Boy. It's always a chance that uh, Boy just holds on enough, holds on to his army enough that Fnatic's economy is able to catch up. Oh, Boy's un uh, Fnatic's units here. I think they are either protecting the relic, or he wants to do a pincer move. Thinking tactically here. Okay, so Fnatic, he probably sees what's going on. Yeah, he does see what's going on because of the walls. <laughs> walls having vision is weird to me. 
go. Just wanted to mass uh, 17 Lancers. Hey, these aren't moving forward. Ooh, that's a weird shot. Oh no, these need to be attacking the army. Oh, and the uh, Fnatic using the choke point really well. The mangonels are gonna do so much damage. And there they are, destroying the mangonels. I think there's enough army here for Boy to, ha to be able to hold on. Ah, but the mangoes, man, the mangonels. Ooh, but still, this is pretty good for Boy, right? Interesting maneuver from Fnatic. Worked out for him. Ooh, bunch of rams. Yeah, Boy does not have gold to, to produce uh, trebuchets. I guess rams are okay here. And with rams, what? Do you want to destroy here the maze, or...? Like, I would go here first. You want to keep uh, Fnatic as... Uh, Weak as possible. Why not build the rams here? Now they're gonna have to go through the wall. The boy could attack this area. Now with everything that's coming up, coming forward, like Fnatic is just, Fnatic is building himself up, and I think Boy is done with archers. There we go, there's a Manganel. That Manganel could be important. 21 crossbowmen, wow, really afraid of those knights. It's Fnatic. Fnatic will be able to produce out of everything, and Fnatic's economy is starting to catch up. Making a, like, boy has to go. And I do think this is last call for him. Fnatic's even getting all of the eco tax, is getting... All of the blacksmith tax, his units are going to be as good as they can be. If Fnatic gets to around, what, 60, 70 units? This is going to be a tough fight for Boy. And there's even a Springold. Who is even producing Springolds? But the uh, welcome to Ram Ranch. Ooh, that Springold is out of position. No, it's not. And it's so difficult to move within the city. Oh, is he gonna keep that from coming in? Oh, two seconds left. You need to take out the military schools. Was the Manganel gonna be able to take that out? Oh, well, that was a good Manganel shot. What a shot! What a shot from the Manganels! What can boy the f Oh, no! Oh, boy's losing everything! Those mangonels! They're so strong! No! And our villagers taking up the rams. He may be able to take down the landmark DC, but there's no winning the game here for Boy at this moment. The Fnatic will be able to produce units slightly faster than Boy. A lot of knights here. I would even give up on archers, maybe. Where's the. 
There's a secret site. Oh, here they go. We got three mangonels. The fanatic will be moving forward. But these lancers are going to be very good. And finally, there's hope. Hope for boy that the mangonels are going to go down. No, the knights are not enough. And oh my god, what another maneuver from fanatic. Getting the flank going. And now fanatic's just going to get a lot more units. Not even when mangonel went down. Ooh, and ga uh, he's got the gather point here. And the knights are not able to make it to the gather point. This is... This is so not ideal. A few janissaries. Are the knights going to... Oh, they're going to get to that. When Fnatic is gonna get started with raids. Really, to build that bit of palisade. More rams. More rams. Springles are so important in the stage of the game. And he's sending the Mangan. I, uh, sending the Mangonel forward first. Now this is a bit open. This is a bit open. There's a way for Boy here to... to lure the army and do something here. So here they come the knights. They're about to raid. And Boy's base is not prepared. Ah, uh, is he gonna... gonna let the Genesis go, uh, go down maybe? Wow. Okay, okay, so Fnatic wants to come here to the farms. Oh, Ari just wants to get some scouting done. Still, boy, is more army. This is... Honestly, it's very impressive. Yeah, the Janissaries have got to get good damage here. A lot of villagers are gonna die here for Boy Boy and a slightly lower economy than the Fnatic. Not gonna be so slightly now. After four villagers died. Worthy raid, I'd say. But the Fnatic's units are just moving around and Fnatic does have a couple of sprinkles. There's the forward keep going up for Boy. Is Fnatic not gonna finish the wall now? He has to have seen that. Oh, he's going for a keep to get that gold safely. Oh, we are a few units from Fnatic. Is he gathering them? Oh, he's gathering them forward. People not adjusting their gather points can lead to this. Your reinforcements are dying. So here goes Boy. Boy moving in, but Boy has a lot of archers and janissaries as well. And Alex just needs to protect the mangonels, and I think he wins the game here. Ooh, decent shot. Decent shot. The knights are trying to go around. Four mangonels. So much damage, even on knights. Oh, there's no way. It's the death. The archers and the janissaries are all going down. The lancers and the sapahi have all gone down. All that's left is the siege. Fnatic is leading army count-wise. Boy, just not with the opportunity here. Boy needs to find somewhere else to attack. Fnatic now getting the sacred sites and getting the sacred sites really good idea when um, when the game goes this long you want to apply that pressure and now Fnatic's even getting a trebuchet Fnatic I don't think he can attack the keep not this army lying around Emrin mi? Sakin 
Okay, so four mangonels, two sprinkles, there's gonna be a trebuchet. Fnatic even getting rams up. Fnatic, if he finds a way to wisely spend this wood, I just do not see how boy fans. And how the game turned. Ooh, boy wanted to get this gold. Too bad there's a keep there already. And now Fnatic is getting that... Um, an amazing number of villagers. Um, boy isn't even noticing, I think. Does he want to convert? He might want to convert. Yeah, set the keep to... I oh, don't know, he's bringing it back. Uh, is the trebuchet... Where is the trebuchet? Who building a keep on the other sacred side of so Fnatic wants to go for sacred win. My god, boy, just throwing so many villagers away. Fnatic now, I think. Oh, that's 180 pop. And boy, that 119. Fnatic, with the siege that he has, he may be able to dive the TC after a couple of trap shots. Oh my god. Yeah, sure you're getting kills, but... Oh, good shot from the tr uh, from the mangonel. Now, if boy gets the, the siege, I don't think it's enough now. Ooh, and boy's getting a siege destroyed. Will this keep able to defend? Yeah, getting the last sacred site, and uh, the only vulnerable sacred site is this one. The other two have keeps on them. And boy, like, his last value army, even though he has the numbers, and Fnatic. And the Fnatic has got a few minute arms. Work really well against archers. Yeah, and we have 10 minutes! 10 minutes under the sacred site! And that's a beautiful choke point for Fnatic. I was scared that those would be villagers. No. Yeah, they are villagers. Villagers going after the siege, and boys reduced to 35 villagers. Big raid on the farms! Ah! What am I watching? Boy calls the game. And a bit of a disaster, if you ask me.